focuses on as interplay entertainment and high voltage software bring White Wolf's popular pen and paper game, Hunter the Reckoning, to the PlayStation 2 computer entertainment system. Outing a brand new story available only on the PlayStation 2, Hunter the Reckoning Wayward exposes the horror of the world of darkness like never before. And now, we take you behind the scenes to hear directly from the creators of the Runaway franchise. The Wayward is a action game where you and a buddy get together and you just kill monsters, do side quests, rescue innocents, and even collect items in the world to create some really fancy weapons. The main difference between um, the original game and Hunter Wayward is in the original game it was very linear gameplay. You advanced through the missions one at a time. This time you're using a hub system. You'll be launching from a, a mission base, if you will, and going out into the world and then coming back. You'll receive new goals which um, allow you to go back into the world you've already explored. So it's just an amazing replayability system where you're going to be visiting the same places, but each time they'll be different. Working with the White Wolf license, I played Vampire when it first came out. I got one of the first copies of the first edition. So I was pretty excited to, to work on a White Wolf game. Our correspondence with White Wolf has been great. Hunter is a regular person who uh, one day is awakened uh, to the fact that evil is all around them. And they never noticed that before until the messengers arrive and view them with their hunter powers. The premise for Hunter Wayward is uh, we have two hunters, Joshua and Devin, both the Wayward Cree. They have uncovered cult activity beginning in the town of Ashcroft. They realize that there's a darker purpose behind this cult, and someone is actually pulling the cult strings, so they call in the help and assistance of the first four hunters from Hunter the Reckoning. Once those four hunters arrive, heeding this call, they find that the two original hunters are, have vanished into thin air, effectively. They set out to uncover what happened to them, find out what's behind the cult, and save the day. There are five characters being played in the way we're right now. There's Deuce, who's the big biker. His, his strength is his strength and his power. There's Cassandra. She's a very martial artsy, very quick, very agile. There's Father Esteban. He's a priest. His powers stem from his ability to sort of use magical edges. And then there's Samantha, who is the ex-cop. She's fast. She has a fairly good weapon. She's a use of magic. And then there's the new guy. There's the wayward. 